Yeah, iPhone is a scam. Uh, I can't use a lot of apps. A lot of apps are not available. A lot of apps are not available because they say it's because of privacy. But I, the messaging app, I keep I keep getting spam and scam text messages. I cannot block numbers. I can only disable the notifications from the numbers that are scam and spam. But I will still get their messages. So I will still be able to read the messages if they're not placed in a block number section folder whatever so how is that a protection of my privacy there's a lot of limitations I can't use my hotspot uh, the main camera sucks the rear camera is fine but newer phones like here my Infinix here has better camera compared to the price of this phone uh, also it does not have a headphone jack so I can't use my speaker my old, my old Samsung speakers subwoofer whatever that I've had for like seven years I can't use my headphones my earphones with the plug uh, what else? Uh, it's slow. There, there are actions that are very slow on the iPhone, and I can't use it effectively with one hand compared to Android. You can just use it with one hand, no problems. So there's just a delay, just a lag with the iPhone. It's it wastes time. Uh, the no touch lock, uh, fingerprint lock is a hassle waste of time, waste a few seconds compared to my Android phone. Just lift it up, put my finger on the fingerprint scanner, and it's and it unlocks. The face unlock is a delay, so you, you, you need to put it to point it on your face. But if I'm multitasking, so if I want to unlock, so So here so all right so it, it, I need to put my face there or I need to lift the phone to my face so that's it for now